really really well welcome back to a brand new video make sure you are cozy make sure you've got a nice drink you've got the snacks you know the drill by now i i thought to myself the other day am i ever going to stop saying that in my intro and i think the answer is no so i thought today it would be cute just to do a nice chilled cozy sit down video um and we could get ready together because i feel like i haven't done that in the longest time and i also asked you guys over on instagram to ask me any questions that you may have and also assumptions so it's kind of like a answering your assumptions q a get ready with me kind of vibe today like it's nice to do like a q a video every few months just so i can keep you guys super updated on everything to do with life and i also i love it and hate it at the same time i like knowing what some of you assume about me be interesting but also kind of give me a bit of anxiety i'm not gonna lie when i put that question out there i do get a little bit scared of what i'm gonna get back but as always you guys were just lovely and i got some juicy ones which i've got just down here but majority of them were just really sweet so love you all so much and thank you for just being the nicest people in the whole world so i just wanted to say a huge thank you to function of beauty for sponsoring this part of the video which is the skincare part as you can see my skin is looking extremely glowy right now and i don't actually have any moisturizers or anything on right now this is purely from my cleanser you guys probably know functional beauty for their personalized hair care products well they have very very recently bought out a new skincare range which is also personalized which is just a dream. So Function of Beauty actually allows you to take a skincare quiz and that skincare quiz will actually help Function of Beauty identify what skincare you need to help you reach your skincare goals. As you guys know because I go on about it all the time, my skin is super dry at the moment and it's been hard to find products that just really really cater for that. But then sometimes my skin can be really sensitive and it's just such a hard one isn't it? I feel like everyone has such different skin and i feel like everyone has different skin goals as well and that's why it's so amazing that you can now personalize your skincare like if you do the skin quiz as well you can actually specify the formulas of your products as well which is amazing so for example for me i love having just like a really rich indulgent moisturizer i don't really like a gel based kind of moisturizer but you can actually specify what formula is your favorite in my function of beauty skincare products are actually personalized for dry skin but also sensitive skin so i went with unscented because i do find sometimes my skin's just temperamental and sometimes it just doesn't really like heavily scented products i also specified that i want it to be anti-aging and also to brighten my skin i love having like a really bright glowy complexion and i find that's really really hard to achieve when you have dry skin the fact this cleanser has made my skin this glowy is incredible so this is what the packaging looks like so cute they all come in different colors so this one is the moisturizer and then this one is the serum i just think they're so pretty and also you get your name on them function of gemma how cool is that for the cleanser i chose a micellar gel this is amazing it really really lathers up it's amazing to remove makeup when i do wear makeup i like to wear quite a full coverage like there are a lot of layers and this really really just breaks them down and removes all your makeup and leaves your skin just feeling really 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 clean it also really hydrates your skin as you can see my skin looks dewy like it doesn't usually after cleansing i always have to put moisturizer on straight away otherwise my skin just dries out so this is actually a three-step process so it's super simple if you don't really have a skincare routine right now then this would be perfect so first of all use your cleanser then you also use your serum how beautiful is that packaging so with the serum i love this lid that's so satisfying i pop a little bit of this on in between cleansing and moisturizing and i find this product is really really lightweight so it would be perfect for either daytime or nighttime almost like an extra little layer that just adds a little bit more hydration really quick drying as well which is so important for me i can't stand anything sticky on my face i hate it and then for the moisturizer i chose a really thick cream which is so luxurious this is actually up there with one of my favorite moisturizers a little bit goes a long way so it really really is worth your money and it just melts into your skin it's lovely you really do feel it kind of like go in it doesn't sit on your skin it's not sticky again it just leaves your skin 
feeling absolutely unreal like it feels baby baby skin smooth so so soft and look how glowy it looks just from these three products insane so that's everything i have been absolutely loving from function of beauty i'm so excited for you guys to try it leave a direct link down below as always and if you actually use my link you get 20 percent off any product or bundle and you also get a free headband okay it's time that coffee is so cold so the first kind of like assumptions questions there were a lot of variations of this subject so i've kind of just like put them all into one but the assumptions and questions were you're moving house soon you and jamie have bought a house you've bought a house you'll be buying a house this year you've found your dream home so the answer to all of your burning questions and assumptions is we we do stalk right move pretty much every other day i've just got a bit of a fascination with we'll do this thing right <laughs> where we find nice houses on right move and then we go and do a drive by past them it's like one of our favorite pastimes um but the answer to your assumption is no we haven't bought a house but yes we are looking i don't know why but i feel like i've just got this i've got a, a burning gut feeling that we I'm gonna find something at the back end of this year, so I feel like it's gonna be, I'm saying this now, so it's documented. <laughs> when this comes true, because I just know it's going to, if it's not, I'm gonna look a bit of a fool, but I just feel like September, October time, we're gonna find somewhere. I don't know why, I just, I get this feeling sometimes, I like to call it my sixth sense, where I just, I don't know, when I think about that time, and I think about buying a house, like, I just feel like we're gonna find something perfect then. So fingers crossed that when we do find somewhere that we love, everything goes through. You guys know I am a firm believer in everything happens for a reason and everything happens within perfect timing as well. So I feel like as annoying as it is when something doesn't happen that you really, really want to happen, it's just not the right time and the universe has something better in store for you. So just keep positive. Um, I know I mentioned quite a while ago that we'd found a really lovely house and we felt like that might have been the one. It was beautiful and it was perfect in so many ways, but I don't know why it just didn't feel like the right time. I think with everything going on um, in the world and everything just being super uncertain, I don't know, there was just, there was a niggle. There was something about it that didn't feel perfect. When we find our perfect house, everything will go smooth. <laughs> this is what I'm telling myself. Everything will go through smoothly and it'll be September. I feel like that's one of our main goals at the moment. That's something that I definitely think about every single day, multiple times a day. And I just feel like that's the next step for us. And I'm so excited to just find somewhere and just make it ours and I'm excited to take you guys along with us like what an exciting chapter that will be I just can't wait I feel super excited for that and I know that it will happen when it's meant to happen you know what's actually amazing so as much as I do miss having nails and I painted them which I haven't painted my nails since I was like 12 the best part is you can do your makeup with your fingers and I just feel like that's the best way to do it. Obviously I wouldn't like put my foundation with my fingers, I feel like that's a bit far. But I mean like concealer, I just feel like you can really mould it into the places that you want it. So the next assumption that there were lots of is Jamie lives with you. I did mention this in a vlog a while ago so maybe some of you guys might have missed that. Um, but yes, we now live together. He's usually in the office working away so that's why you don't see him like, oh goes my concealer that's why you don't see him in vlogs um because he's usually in here i've kicked him out today for the purpose of this video so he's currently in the bedroom so the next assumption we have are your morning routines are fake which makes me feel really sad like that genuinely when i saw that assumption i was like mm. and to be honest i think i know where this came from so on my most recent 6am morning routine <laughs> there were so many comments um, of people asking me why it was light outside at 6am and the simple answer to that is it wasn't 6am in that video because obviously it's dark at 6am in the UK and I can't film in the dark because you guys wouldn't be able to see anything and 
I'm not gonna like set my lighting up and stuff when I could just wait until it's a little bit later on in the day. It's not real time. It's my real morning routine, but it's not real time. Like I have to first get up and set my camera up and those videos take such a long time to film as well. And so much detail goes into morning routines. Like that whole video, that, that 12 minutes of video took me about five hours to film and then about five hours to edit like it was a long process obviously a lot more detail goes into my filmed morning routine compared to my normal morning routine like it goes the same kind of way but like i'm not stirring my coffee in slow motion <laughs> every morning and do you know what i mean it's i put these little details in to make the video is special for you guys and I want it to just be really really relaxing. That's about it. It's not fake in any way. I would never put anything out there that's not real because what would be the point? But there have been certain little edits made and little extra details made just to make it nicer for you guys to watch. And that's all it is. I think it's important to remember that my job is to create content. It's just important to bear in mind that my job for that day was to create and edit that morning routine so yeah it's not fake it's just had a lot of little details added to make it a cozy experience for you all the next assumption that there were quite a lot of as well which was you are jealous of all you are jealous blah, blah, blah. you are jealous of all the other influencers that are getting pregnant at the moment this assumption is crazy i have been obsessed with Ellie's and Karis's content at the moment like I just think it's so it's so happy They're just such happy uplifting videos to watch and it's quite amazing really like watching someone's journey as creepy as that sounds I feel like jealous is such a weird word to use in that whole sentence like I would never be jealous of a path that someone else is on like I said everything happens for a reason and everyone is constantly on a different path at a different time it's so important to never compare your life to someone else's and i know that that is so easy to say and so hard to do um but that's so important like everyone is so different and everyone's path is so different so the answer to that assumption is definitely not definitely not jealous and i would never i would never be jealous of someone else's life of course that's something i would want in the future like of course but I'm very happy with the path that I'm on at the moment. Like my kind of like direction of life is just different to theirs and that's okay. I just think it's pretty amazing that you can like watch this new life unfold. Like I find it, I find it fascinating. Um, and I have been a bit obsessed with keeping up with all the pregnancy content. But yeah, I am in no rush whatsoever and I'm very much enjoying watching my other beautiful YouTube friends go through pregnancy. So the next assumption is, do you feel pressure to get engaged and have babies? So I've got a few different views on this. I feel like at this age, there's a lot of pressure for that. I feel like once you kind of get past your mid 20s and you're moving on to your late 20s, people automatically kind of, it's expected, it's expected to find someone and settle down and get engaged and have babies. Like that's kind of just the way a lot of people think. You need to do a poo, there's some Johnson baby wipes down there. We've run out of toilet roll, just keeping it real. <laughs> You can't put that in there. I'm going to, it's funny. That was the last thing I expected to hear. Fresh. If you need a poo, there's some Johnson's baby wipes downstairs. That's Jamie was on about- <laughs> Is it a luxury experience? It's <laughs> so smooth. Okay, enough. What was I even talking about before that? Because now all I can think about is that. And that's not a very nice image to have in my head, to be completely honest. What were we talking about? Pressure to get engaged and have babies. So, as I was saying, it's down to you if you feel pressured or not. Obviously, if you've got someone in your ear going like, when are you gonna have babies, when are you gonna get married? It's kind of hard, but I think it's just important to remember that you're on your own journey. What will happen for you will happen for you. Actually, I feel like before I was in a settled relationship, I think there was this almost like overwhelming feeling of, oh my God, I'm in my late 20s. I haven't settled down, I haven't, got married and I haven't had children I think it's so natural to feel like that but I think when you 
I feel different now I'm settled and I kind of have like a clear path of what I want next. You guys know I'm a planner and I like to have everything planned out in my head and I kind of have gotten over this whole, you can't plan things like that, like you can't plan when you're going to get married, you, you can, but do you know what I mean? You can't plan those kind of things, you can't really plan when you're going to have children because anything could happen, so I think it's important to like let go of that pressure that I feel like sometimes you put on yourself because I'm like that a lot. I put a lot of pressure on myself to do certain things. And I think sometimes you just need to trust the process, trust the timings, trust the process. Everything will happen for a reason. I'm going off on a tangent. Next assumption. Did I sum that up? Does that make sense? To summarize, it's easy to feel pressured, but it's important to not let yourself feel pressured. Does that make sense? Whilst we're on this subject, just wanted to clear up, I am not engaged. I feel like I get this question so much because when I do anything on Instagram, when I take Instagram pictures or film Instagram stories or anything, your iPhone like flips you. So it looks like this hand is this hand. So these rings are on my, I've got to do my left and right thing because I'm really bad at this. These fingers are on my right hand, not my left hand. Just to clear that up, just in case you are new here. Um, okay, the next assumption, which I feel like I get in every single assumption video, and I feel like I answer it in every single assumption video, is you don't have many friends. I've never been a person to have like loads of friends. Like, you know, at school, you get those people that are friends with everyone and they have like big, like girly friendship groups, which do you know what? I've always kind of wanted, but never really had. I've always had just like individual friends, a part of me that thinks it's bizarre that people always assume that. But then I put myself in your guys' position and to be honest, like I don't really show show many of my friendships online and that's not because I don't have any friends, that's purely because I like to keep that part of my life private and also my friends don't do YouTube. So it's so important as well to remember that what you guys see online is literally like a very, very small percentage of someone's life. That's why I said earlier on, like don't compare your your journey to anyone else. Don't compare your life to anyone else because what you see online is what someone chooses you to see. For example, a day in the life vlog might be an hour long, but that's like an hour out of someone's 14 hour day. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's so important just to not 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 get too invested because just because I'm fully invested in some people's lives that I watch on YouTube like I'm I'm there I am that fly on the wall but I feel like it's very important to keep in your mind that whatever someone puts online is what they want you to see so it's it's so important like just not to assume things I know this is an assumptions video but it's important not to assume that because you don't see someone with their friends that they don't have any friends that's like saying you don't have any family because we don't see your family like do you know what youtube is one of those things where it's not everyone's cup of tea like for example my mum i rope her into doing a few videos but she hates the camera like she hates her picture being taken she hates hearing her own voice it's just important to not assume things but i mean for the sake of this video i fully assume things about me but do you know what i mean it's important to just not let it affect you that much um i feel like some people get extremely angry about things like sometimes you get some crazy comments um and i just i don't really understand that like how can you get angry about what someone else is doing with their life do you know what i mean i just I find it crazy. Next question slash assumption is, you get angry when other influencers promote something you know is rubbish. My opinion on this is very different to other people's, right? I see some people getting super irate over this. And my opinion on this is, everyone likes different things. Something that I love, someone else might hate. Something someone else hates, I might love. Like. People are so different and I think it's just important to just do you. Don't let what other people are doing annoy you or take your positive energy. No cannon, my face is here. I mean, thank you. Like, I've come on a journey with this and I still am on that journey a little bit but I used to let what people think and what people do just take way too much of my energy and I feel like now if someone does something to annoy me, I have a little bit of a rant about it and then I get over it and I don't think about it anymore. And I think it doesn't matter what someone else is doing. Like if someone else wants to promote something that you don't like, who like, 
who really cares like there's this saying that i love um which is being angry at someone is like drinking poison is that it being angry at someone else is like drinking poison and expecting them to die it i mean i know that's pretty deep and quite savage but it's true like being angry at someone else doesn't affect anyone else but you do you know what i can't multitask to save my life i genuinely couldn't tell you what i've done to my face in the past like 15 minutes like why is my blusher like touching my bot my eye please <laughs> i've just been here like mm. like i'm just not really paying i can't i can't multitask so if i end up looking like a clown at the end of this then it is what it is okay next assumption is you aren't the same in real life as you come across on youtube i feel like every single person that does youtube gets this question <laughs> there's such a thing about youtubers being fake or trying to come across someone that they're not and i feel like it's such a I don't know it's such a thing and don't get me wrong there might be some people that do that i'd like to think you can kind of trust your own judgment on someone like i can sometimes watch a video and i can sometimes watch a youtuber and i don't get good vibes and that's absolutely fine like they're just not for me i feel like not everyone is gonna like you i'm going off on a real tangent here i just feel like if you're one of these people that wants to know if a youtuber is genuine or fake i feel like trust your own judgment um usually gut feelings are always right and if you watch someone's videos and they make you feel happy and uplifted and you get positive vibes from them then that's quite i feel like that would be a very hard thing to fake if you know what i mean um what what was even the assumption here you aren't the same in real life as you come across on YouTube. I feel like if you were to take this video right now and my first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube, I would genuinely seem like two different people. But that's because I feel like when you do YouTube full time, it's a journey. Like it is a journey and you learn so much about yourself and you see yourself in a light that you never would expect to like it's so weird into a camera and then editing yourself speaking to a camera because realistically it's just me and my camera in this room and i know that i'm talking to all of you guys like once i've edited this and i've put it out there and i do feel like connected to you in that way i feel like you when you do youtube and you see yourself so much as weird as that sounds you go on a real journey with yourself and you just you learn a lot about yourself and you grow everyone does if you if you compare anyone with like a three four year age gap they will always seem different um but what i will say is it would be extremely hard to pretend I'm someone I'm not online. It would be so pointless. I feel like I share so much of my life online that it would just be, it would be exhausting to pretend I'm someone I'm not. And there would just be no point to it. Literally zero point whatsoever. So the answer to the assumption, which was you, are, you aren't the same in real life as you come across on YouTube. I feel like I am. I feel like, again, take everything you see online with a pinch of salt because i am very guilty for i will only record a video when i'm feeling good um if i'm having like a bit of a sad day or i'm just not feeling very good about myself nine times out of ten i won't record and i think that's just normal there's currently a cat scratching at my door i don't know which one but it's scratching so if you can hear a scratching noise it's tilly or teddy trying to get in obviously like i chat to you guys about absolutely everything i'm very open with my feelings online like i will always tell you if i'm not feeling great and i'll tell you if i'm sad and i talk about things that are very very personal to me um but some days i know if i'm having a bad day it wouldn't make brilliant content me just crying and eating and just feeling sorry for myself watch someone online and they're always happy and positive and they make you feel good then that's amazing because they make you feel good but it's important to remember that again you only see a very small fraction of them online um and they have bad days just like everyone like we're all human no one is happy and positive 24 7 like it's just i wish i was but i'm not Okay, I need to do my eyebrows real quick because I cannot talk and do my eyebrows because they will end up like slugs. Um, and I feel like I'm not getting anywhere with the makeup. So let me do that and then I'll be back. Okay, are we sisters or are we twins today? Or are we just not even related at all? I feel like we are, we're sisters today because they're definitely not even. So next assumption from you guys is you are bringing out a brand this year. Mm. 
can't speak, mouth sipped. This has been a process. This has been a, this has been a long, a long process, but there, this is gonna be a good year. This is gonna be a good year and I'm very, very excited for the second half of this year. So keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully soon I should be able to drop some hints. Um, but yeah, I, I, it doesn't feel real yet. Um, and I'm very, very excited and I can't say too much, but yes. Okay, next question is, are you happy you're working with Disney Plus? Guys, can we just talk about this for a minute? I feel like we haven't actually properly spoken about this. How crazy, sorry, but do you know what? This sounds really weird. Sometimes I feel like it just doesn't feel real. Like it genuinely doesn't feel real. One of those where I talk about it and I'm like, is this a prank? Is someone gonna wake me up from this dream real soon? Like honestly, dream brand to work with. Um, and I just can't believe it guys. Like Disney Plus, like it, it blows my little brain. Blows it into a million trillion pieces. So next assumption is kind of hard to talk and put lip liner on. Maybe I'll, let me put the lip liner on then I'll answer the next assumption. Best nude lip liner ever by the way is Spice by MAC. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like, it's a very like warm tone, but I just love that. It gives me the autumn vibes. So next assumption is Jamie takes all your Instagram pictures, which is correct. He is a very great photographer. I don't actually think I have, hang on, told you guys this just because it hasn't really seemed very appropriate until this video, but me and Jamie actually work together now, which is really, really exciting. Um, his main kind of like, his main job is secret project. Um, and it's just really nice. Like, I feel like that's what I've always wanted, if that makes sense. Like, I I love seeing, like, this sounds cringe, but I love seeing, like, power couples um, who just work together and create, like, a life for them. Like, I feel like that's amazing. So he helps me with my Instagram content, YouTube content that I might need help with. And he's busy working away in the background on something that will be revealed very very soon and i feel like i don't say it to him enough and i feel like he's probably listening to me now and i feel a bit embarrassed but he really has like impressed me with what we're currently working on like i know it was good but i didn't know it was this good kind of thing and i'm just i'm so excited for you guys to see what has been going on behind the scenes because yeah i'm just really proud of it and Again, this is what I mean. I feel like this was the right path. Like everything in my life right now just feels like it's meant to be exactly where it is. And it's a really nice feeling. So you guys ask loads and loads of questions like about me and Jamie, but I feel like I'm gonna save them for a couple's Q and A because we've never done that. Um, you guys always ask for a couple's Q and A. So I feel like that's something we can sit down and film together. Um, so I'm gonna save like kind of questions about our relationship and about us for that video because I think that'll be a fun video to film. So there were quite a few questions which were all kind of about confidence. There was one which was, how are you so confident on YouTube? How did you gain confidence? How do you stop caring about what people think of you or what they say about you? So I feel like this is a lesson that I've learned kind of in the past year. You cannot control what people say or what people think about you. Like you cannot control it and anything you can't control, you just have to let go of. To live a happy life, you you really do just have to let go of control for that situation and focus on something that you can control. Caring about what people say about you and what people think about you is definitely like a journey. It's definitely not something you can do overnight. Um, but when you do finally get to a point of just not caring anymore, I feel like it comes in age, you know. I feel like the older you get, the less you just care. And I feel like the more you kind of focus on what you're doing instead of what other people are doing, just the happier you become. I think it's important to remember that it's your life. Spend your entire life trying to cater for the needs of others, you're never gonna be truly happy. If you spend your entire life not doing things because you are worried about what other people think, again, you're never gonna be truly happy. It comes to a point where you have to almost choose, choose, ow, which just stabbed myself in the eye. You have to either choose your own happiness or you have to be a people pleaser and constantly be saying, 
yes to people and constantly be doing things that other people want you to do and trying to please other people like it's absolutely pointless i feel like when i first started youtube i went through this stage of focusing on the negative more than the positive and when people write shitty things on your video because they do like they just do there are people in this world that just need to vent and it's easy to, to let negative comments like change you and it's like a vicious circle because if you're constantly trying to please people some people are just never happy and not everyone is always going to like you so i feel like once you kind of get over that you just become so much happier stop trying to please people do what you want be who you are be a good person be kind and just do what you want it's your life you only get one life live it i feel like this is motivational talks with Gemma today <laughs> the next one I had a lot about is confidence so how do you become confident on YouTube I feel like it comes with practice the more you upload the more confident you become 100% I'd probably say like my first year to two I'd probably say my first two years my first I've been doing YouTube for three and a bit years I'd probably say my first two years was me finding myself it was me finding the kinds of content that I like to create it was me finding my happiness in doing what I'm doing and it was me finding my confidence with it as well um it's so daunting like filming a video and putting it out there but I think if you have just started YouTube and you are feeling just very overwhelmed with it and you don't really know what kind of content to create, I feel like it just comes, it comes with time. I feel like I have finally found like my, my calling on YouTube and I feel like I've done so many different kind of videos and it's taken me such a long time to figure out what I like creating because I'm never gonna create content just to create content. Like I have to create something that I like doing, otherwise it then is pointless. Like this is a hobby at the end of the day that has turned into a career, which is crazy. Um, but I just realized that I just like creating cozy content. I like creating at home, cozy, chilled, just nice content. I like sharing with you guys things that I love, like coffee and cats and, cooking and baking and being cozy and films and series and candles and I love being able to share with you guys things that I genuinely do love and, and I think that's sometimes where people get this whole you've changed since you've done YouTube or you're not the same as you was in your first video and I think that's just because people grow people change and people like different things throughout their life life and that's so normal and so natural so if you have just started YouTube and you aren't feeling your most confident and you don't really know what your niche is and you don't really know I don't know like and you don't really know what kind of content to film keep going at it you will find your niche and you'll find your calling and again what's meant to be it will be I've just finished my eye makeup off camera because let's be honest it's not getting anywhere is it <laughs> I feel like I could genuinely sit here and talk all day Pop a little bit of this on and then I'm finished something I've been obsessed with is the MAC fix what, what am i saying the mac the mac prep and prime um rose rose fixing spray unreal i feel like it just it's just so good so my loves we have reached the end of the video do you know what this has genuinely been one of my favorite videos in a really really long time i just feel like it's been it's been so nice just to sit and chat and I really really loved it so thank you so much for watching um if you would like me to kind of make this more of a regular thing like i said i do like to kind of do like a q a every few months just to keep you guys super updated i feel like that's so important and yeah it's been so fun thank you all for sending in questions and assumptions thank you all for being so lovely as always you guys are amazing and i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next video bye